Welcome back guys to another episode of The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine with me Magix and after visiting the Unseen Elder and beating Deadlov in the last episode well I guess it's time for the closing of the curtain in this first diverging path of the expansion and see who the actual fifth victim was and how the story will come to an end. Let's go! Okay, here we continue. I ventured quickly off camera and enchanted our new hand gaze heavy armor with a rune word to make it light armor again. And yeah, I wanted to wear it at least once because I think there will be no bigger battle anymore. But I can take it with me in a new game plus. So, well, here we go. I have my red armor and the steel and silver sword equipped. So, it will be fun to play with that later on. And while checking the map, I also noticed that there is a new question mar uh, exclamation mark, so let's see what that is all about. It looks pretty cool, completely in red, and I guess with the armor die, we could also make it like, for example, completely black or white. That's also possible. Let's test it. I never have tested it, right? Ah, this only works for Witcher gear. Okay, then never mind. Eh, whatever. Alright. Let's check the uh, exclamation mark out, I guess. Yeah, we have bested the beast. Beast is gone for good. Let me quickly get my upgrades here and repair the stuff. Oh, damn candle. Sure. So I will not sell my stuff here, but. Well. Let's repair everything. These are the boots that we received for the ball or what have you. Whatever. Good. Farewell. Fair. No, see you later. You have seen me so much. Well. Alright. Next door was the table. There we go. Alright. Then let's go to the Quest, or whatever it might be. Let's see. Okay, it's downstairs. Chilom. Oh, okay. Chilom. What? What are you doing here? Leave me be. Without my Vivian, life has no meaning. You are the last to whom I wish to speak. Okay, so the dude ended as a drunkard because Vivian did not want to fuck him. Okay, I see. Well, maybe you shouldn't have tried to put her in a cage or something. Well then, let's go to the boot leg and see if he knows who the fifth victim would actually be because maybe the plot is not over yet. Let's go and meet Regis and try to learn the truth and see if that is the end or not. <laughs> but then I want to try out the different path where we not go to the Unseen Elder but try to free Siliana. Because there should be several endings to this expansion, so I guess it comes down to the end path where yeah, your choices diverge. Because there was a big or in the uh, question text, so I figure it has to be because of those reasons. Do you know the colors I would see on the Duchess banners? Alright. We are 
very close. I hope we don't have to go into this creepy toy shop again. Let's see. Not here. Wouldn't happen to know. Oh. What happened now? I jumped down. Game crash. Air. The game crashes. Or not? No. Okay. <laughs> Good to see you. Here for a spiffy? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Mm. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. Uh, for some reason there are two of them now. I guess I have bugged the game because I jumped down instead of using stairs. Oh. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beggars brought them. Beggars like Gonto, who... Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Uh-huh. I know! They all had no home! <laughs> Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Mm. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Alright, there we go. That worked. No, there's only one kit. Okay, let's find the shelter. There it is, okay. You've to move your little camp elsewhere, got it? This is a decent district. We need no filth folk. Oh, it's locked, okay. There's no need to raise your voice. Who are you? You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scam! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballot. Another defender of the poor, fighter for justice. Damn you, sense. We for our women and young folk living next door, when even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Do you see my armor? Do you really want to... Yep, they really want to do it, alright.
right, all right. Well, first one is down. Take my backhand. There we go. All right. I can take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. Mm -hmm. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beckers. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Oh yeah. Okay. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Girl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait? They'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Mm, okay. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you. As he's not here. Okay. So one is missing. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the uh -huh. feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said. And she was frightening. Who is you she? You heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago. Helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right. Take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. Okay, who is the victim? Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time, we will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather closely. So she wants to kill her own sister okay, and do regicide, it. okay. Not was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling.
puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter's ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, None would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask him yourself. Think it's a good idea? After all, we foiled her carefully planned scheme. Think she'll even want to? Talk to you? Would it harm you in any way to try? Guess not. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of the simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind, but I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. Makes sense. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this? Atop all that? No, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. All right. Well then. Let's talk to Siana, I guess, and learn more. So we have to go back to the palace, and we can use the quick travel from the port here. Alright. She has really uh, made a pretty nasty plot here, just to kill the ruler. Well then. Let's see if we can change anything, but I don't even know if she is able to kill the Duchess anymore. I guess if she has a trial and she has a, a weapon hidden, she could do it, but when Geralt is there, we can probably prevent it. We shall see. Suddenly we know where, the du where she is, so that's also kind of awkward. Uh, further up, no, this is locked. Oh. Halt! Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of. Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders. No? Exactly. Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. All right. Well then. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. There she is, okay. Hey, Siana. Sorry to intrude, but I gotta ask you something. I've nothing to say to you. You're the one who put me in here. Have you forgotten? Sure, but you are here. So what's the harm in talking? 
got something better to do. What do you want? Be brief. Went to a place where Beauclair's beggars congregate. Found proof that you'd planned your sister's demise. Anna Henrietta. She was Dedloff's ultimate target from the start. Your target. Bravo, Witcher. I congratulate you on your deductive reasoning skills. But what I've planned has nothing to do with you. Wrong. Has everything to do with me. You were hired to kill the beast. Said beast is dead. So go collect your metal and leave me alone. Why must you meddle in everything? <laughs> Regis, he's always saying Dedloff was more animal-like, less human than him. It might have been so. Dedloff acted on reflex, was driven by primordial instincts. Whereas you're driven by cruelty, hatred, and a lust for vengeance. They hired me to kill the beast, true. Thing is, something tells me the real beast is you. Exactly. You've no notion who I am or what drives me. Actually came hoping to learn something. It's clear you are out for vengeance. Against those who drove you from the palace? Curse of the Black Sun. That was their reason, right? It's certainly what they claimed. They said I was dangerous. A mutant. Knights, Crespi, Dulac, Delacroix, and Peyrac Peyron. They got the task of whisking me away, uh -huh. abandoning me outside the Duchy's borders. They were following orders. So they were, though they did so eagerly. Especially when I tried to flee. Crespi beat me unconscious with a whip. Stood by and watched. Peyron found ample opportunity to take his frustrations out on me. While Dulac and Delacroix insulted me, mocked me. I swore then I would never forget. I would find them. Find them all. And she did. Well. So it was just revenge in the end. Explains a bit, a lot. You had a right to feel rage, resentment, but those motives aren't enough to justify the means you chose. I didn't expect you to understand. I need no sympathy, not from you, not from anyone. I regret nothing. If I could turn back time, I'd not decide otherwise at any juncture. They all deserve to be punished, my sister most of all. <sighs> Enough. Your visit's done. Ah, oh, thank the stars. Well then. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Yeah, there's nothing else to do. Let's go. Want to see him too. Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony? Guess I have to apologize. I suspected him to have something to do with the murders, but he was innocent in the end, so... Okay, maybe let's inform him too. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Dedloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Yep. Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. Yeah, man. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me. And I appreciate your attentiveness. Very well. Let us get things underway. Don your ceremonial attire. 
Then you'll come with me. Her grace awaits. Well then, let's see how this will go on. Hey, silver shoes now again? In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the ducal treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, Slayer of the Beast yeah. of Yeah. There we go. Step forward. <coughs> we bestow we get a medal upon the Witcher who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Uh -huh. Such is our desire. Achievement. There we go. Maybe last action hero. A reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a wow, dozen 5, of crowns, of okay. A wine normally reserved for the ducal table. Oh, the song real, okay. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? <laughs> Bad news, Sianna was out to kill you. No, that's we have to go here. Yeah, truly honored. Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. Mm -hmm. In a moment, I shall speak to Sianna. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly, but she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. It makes my sense. presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. Well then, the trial begins. The gods are the... Watchers, but... What happens now? She will be executed, right? I mean, she killed innocent people in the city, she killed the four honorable knights. The Witcher will take part in our talk. What has she hit behind her back again? It's just her hand. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus, I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Well... Mm. 
No matter the mitigating circumstances, whatever they may be, Siana is a criminal and should be tried as such. Exactly. And punished as such. Her guilt is clear. Your words sadden me greatly, Witcher. But I cannot deny their logic. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, yeah, keep your guards up. I shall never stop loving you. Uh oh. Don't. Will don't. you forgive me? She has something hidden. I shall never forgive you. Well... <laughs> Dude, we told you that she was up to something. Why did they let this happen? Well, now both are dead. So she did not have a weapon behind her back, but was using a hairpin to kill the Duchess. Well, that was a precise strike. Well, it feels like a bad end now. Even though we knew who the fifth victim was, we could not protect her in the end. Need some flowers, a wreath, or I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral. Folk took it all. Men, women, children, all wish to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Windflowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know, her ladies-in-waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah. Uh, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? Yeah. She was too trusting in the end, I mean. Anna Henrietta wanted to believe there was still hope for Siana. That she'd show remorse. She reached a hand out to her. Too soon. Too trusting. Exactly. I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Mm. Do just that. Farewell. Well, let's place the flowers then, I guess. Anyhow, we now have our equipment from the Death Love battle. Let's keep the red stuff. There we go. Well, 
Let's go to this cemetery, I guess. Now we get to see how the other pass will play out when we go and find Siana. Maybe we can then uh, talk her out of it because we have more time to interact with her. That could be the case. Where's the grave downstairs? Is it Damien? I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Mm. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. Mm. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. Well, maybe we can speak with a ghost, who knows? This would be not the first time in this uh, crypt. Siana does not get a rose for me here. <laughs> not after all the killing she has done. I regret it ended this way. That I failed to prevent it. Hope you can forgive me. Rest in peace. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. I failed to prevent. Feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now two sons left without a ruler, or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. 
Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more... Mm, philosophical. Pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? Okay, let's do it. If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, huh. and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? <laughs> You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Oh. Ooh, that was a good corpse. So, we have to wear... Quest items here, I guess. Uh, gloss for picking Mandrake. And the mask. Nice. <laughs> that looks funny. Well, there's one. We got it. There is the second one. Perfect. Do we need it now? I guess we can switch back, right? Keep my set on here. Now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire, after all. Damn it, where'd you go? Okay. Regis, where did you go, man? Regis! Okay. So now we are under attack from other vampires. Uh, sure. They want to revenge that love, alright. Those Bruxae, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? Mm. They will not. Fortunately, we've another rule, an unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That so... is why I must leave Toussaint. Okay. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I've an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Well, okay, so he has just to leave the country then. Or Regis. Mmm. Supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. Then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home. On the nightstand. 
<laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Okay. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Well, we were made to kill monsters. We're settled down for good. Now we don't know yet, right? Uh, don't really know yet. I'd find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, the roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which of course brings to mind Dandelion. Hmm. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stain, Beauclair. Far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. Hmm. <laughs> so I know that he will die in the Netflix series now, thanks. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, where will you go? What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might let you sell. Nilfgaard, okay. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. Mm. That we do. Seems like we have reached one of the ends. Hmm. That look into the camera, alright. Well then, that is the end here, I guess. Uh, ah. Actually, I'd love to go home. Okay, go home. Just the mission now. Well, let's go to the wine yard, I guess. Do we have a quick travel here? Yeah, there is a quick travel near the cemetery. So Regis will go to Nilfgaard. Okay. I guess he will always go there unless we not kill that love, right? But I guess that can only happen if we bring Siana to him, maybe? Maybe you still fight him? We'll find that out in the next episode, I guess, when we take the other path. Well, here is our new estate. Let's see about the see about the gifts they send us. One on the balcony and one inside. What do we have here? Yeah, there's wine now in the cellar. Okay, this is not new. This is just for the alcohol. What do we have in here? There's something. Geralt of Rivia wine, nice. We can loot our own wine now. Just more other wine stuff. Okay. What do we have in the other direction? More wine. And more wine. A lot more wine. 
this is where it all began, kind of. Fight against the first Bruxe. Okay, let's go inside. There is the balcony. Master Richard, some unknown individual barged into the residence. Okay. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Hmm. Well, there are some clothes in here. Unexpected as ever. Ah. Hey there. And beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. Quite true. <laughs> used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Oh. Come outside. We can hold hands and stare at the sky. Like some shitty two-crown romance. Sounds like an idea. thought this day would come? Me and you, peace and quiet, bees buzzing, birds chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. <laughs> Ooh, what do you say about your comments? Yeah. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm. Damn it, you win. This time. Ha! How'd that start, anyway? Our duels and wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say, I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> Was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Namely? I shall give you a hint. It's large, white, has four legs, category taxidermy. Oh, yeah. The unicorn. <laughs> it's still in Skellige. Fine. You can bring it down here. Oh. I knew you'd see things my way. Damn you, unicorn. You're still on our heels. All right. Liking two sounds so far? Hmm. The landscape's lovely and the towns are charming. No question about that. But... But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. Might need to think about changing your color palette. Oh. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Bring you whatever you want. Well? Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. 
Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the Orchid. A widower for half a year. <laughs> Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. Well, so... Talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. Well then... This is the end, guys. There is... Nothing else to do. Everything is completed. So you can only roam and... Uh, fight some random beasts. Or, yeah. Hang out here with the end till... We die out of old age, so I guess we will end the episode here and see how it goes on the different path when we actually go to Siana and maybe learn a little bit more about her. So, see you back in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, and bye bye.